In this video, we're going to cover how to hook your three-phase motor to your VFD. So, at first, when you open up this cover, it makes you want to run for the hills if you're not very electrically savvy, but it's okay. We're going to walk you through this step by step, and it's going to be real easy. The most important thing <clears throat> is the nameplate on your motor. If it is an old motor, it's used motor, and it, it doesn't have a nameplate, you're going to have to find the nameplate. You're going to have to look it up, or you're going to have to call an electrician. So, you can go ahead and save some time and not watch the video if you don't have a nameplate. <laughs> so the nameplate has your wiring schematics. Now this one has lots of wires because it's a dual voltage motor, which that means it could be wired 120 volts or 230 volts, which is what we're going to use in order to run a VFD. You know, you need to combine these two wires, these two wires, and these two wires. Now, I'm not being specific about the colors of the wires because everybody's motor is different. You'll need to follow the description on the nameplate. And all the wires are color-coded and labeled. So the VFD is a three-phase, 230 volts, and I have my um, line one, two, and three, and a ground coming in from the VFD. You will have a ground lug right there. That's where you attach your ground cable. So we're gonna start right off the bat by doing that, because that is the easiest and one. So we're gonna go ahead and use a wire nut here to attach our ground. And I should have given myself a little bit more cable to work with here. Make sure it's snug. All right, let's just push that out of the way. Okay, so now we have our different legs. And it doesn't matter which color you use here, as long as the important thing is line one goes to you on your VFD, line two goes to V on the VFD, and line three goes to W. Now, some VFDs may say line one, two, three. Some may say UVW, it's all different. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look on the nameplate. Now, our nameplate tells us that blue is line one. Now, I know I have a white and an orange, so I'm automatically gonna put white on white. That's just gonna make it easier when I connect the other end to remember which one's which. So white is line two, and the white wire going to my VFD is gonna hook to the white wire on the motor and give it a tug, make sure it's in there. If it pops out, do it over. Um, now I'm gonna go with line one on the black, because black and blue, I don't know, they tend, in my mind, they work together well. <laughs> um, and then orange and red, you know, they're very similar in color, so I'm gonna put orange and red together. Really, there's no real reason. The key is, like I said before, making sure they go to the correct lines. So now I'm going to leave this box open while we do the other side so I can confirm and double check throughout this process. We're going to start by connecting the ground which I have wrapped in uh, electrical tape. Okay now I go back here blue which is line one um, is the black wire. So the black wire is going to go right here to you. We're going to connect that. White, in my case, <clears throat> is line two. And line two connects to V. And red is line three, which connects to W. There you have it. That's how easy it is to hook up a VFD to a three-phase um, 220 volt motor. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll see future videos like how to wire your remote box for uh, your power on, your forward reverse, your potentiometer. Also, we have a full set of detailed prints at BexArmory.com showing how to build every single piece of this 2x72 bell ground here. It is an absolute powerhouse, which I will give you a quick demo of right now. <laughs>